Welcome to the introductory video for UValue, the corporate valuation app for the iPad. UValue was jointly created by Aswath Damodaran, a professor at the Stern School of Business at New York University, and me, Anand Sundaram, at the Tuck School of Business at Dartmouth. I'm a professor there. It was coded by Jindong Ren, a student in the Master of Computer Science program at Dartmouth College. We created UValue with two important goals. The first goal is we want anyone who is keen to do a good valuation anywhere to have access to self-contained, fully functional tools to do so. Two, we have created UValue to be educational. Why? We see time and again that poor investment decisions often start with poor valuations. And valuations get that way not necessarily because people make incorrect judgments about the future, because that can happen, but often because models are not used to their fullest potential or, in some instances, used without understanding what their limitations or their capabilities are, or inputs sometimes are not fully thought through or perhaps not fully consistent in the way that they are used to drive the model. So we have a Second important goal, that is, we want it to be educational. And in order to make the app educational, we have built in three very important features, which I'll come back to later, but it is embedded in the form of three buttons, three sets of buttons that you will see sprinkled throughout the, scattered throughout the app, the M buttons, the C buttons, and the D buttons. I will come back to that later. What I'm going to do first is to give you a quick overview of all the various models that we have here in UValue. But before I do that, one caveat. Use of UValue presumes basic familiarity with financial statements, essentially the income statement, the balance sheet, the cash flow statement. You should be able to have a sense of the information content of each of those. UValue contains four models. The WAC model, the Weighted Average Cost of Capital, or sometimes people just call it the Cost of Capital model, the Adjusted Present Value model, the Dividend Growth model, and the Real Options model. And within the WAC model and the APV model, you will see that we have detailed and simple versions. And which one to use will depend on what your goals with the valuation are or the type of person that is doing the valuation. So we also have this section here where if you're not sure, you can go into. But let me just give you a quick feel for what these various apps look like. If you go into WAC Detail, for instance, incidentally, to unlock the functionality of the app, you will have to agree to a legal disclaimer. There is the WAC method of valuation, the detailed version. We always start every video with a quick description of what the, uh, every model with, I should say, a quick description of that particular method of valuation. Then you get to make certain modeling choices, the way you want to input some of the key variables. And then you will see that you can input um, the variables that go into giving you cash flow, cost of capital, and so forth. Uh, and finally, the model will output a set of um, not only valuation spreadsheets, but diagnostics and financial ratios. But I will come back and show this to you in more detail in subsequent videos. But similarly, if we go back home, you will see that the WAC simple version again starts with a brief description of the model, and then it uses certain additional assumptions in the simplification process that are laid out. Similarly, we have APV detailed, and we have APV simple. Then the dividend growth model, the very well-known model that lots of people are familiar with. Again, it it describes what the assumptions in the model are along with a brief description of the model itself and the kinds of inputs that uh, you want to provide. And finally, we also give you 
a real option valuation model here, which incidentally can also be used to value financial options, but we've sort of set it up more as a real option valuation model. So that gives you sort of a feel for what you will see if you go into the various models. But a good place to start, perhaps, is in with the not sure button. Here we start by giving you a very, you know, in a nutshell description of each of the models and then go into a brief description of which model should you use, what guidelines could you use to decide which one to use. So for instance, the dividend growth model, the WAC model, should you use the APV instead of the WAC, and within WAC or APV, should you use the simple version or the detailed version, and when should you use the real options valuation model, and so forth. Now if you click on any of these highlighted uh, words, that will take you directly to the model. So this is a worthwhile section to read through before you start to explore the functionality of the app. And incidentally, one way to get back to the top of the page is to click on the clock uh, on the top. Then, very briefly, the critical educational functionalities that we built into the app, you will see that throughout the app there are these M buttons, which stand for more or tell me more, which provides brief explanations or definitions of key variables. And it also offers you practical guidance on how should you think about inputting particular variables into particular models. You then have a set of C buttons, essentially one per model. This stands for U value companion. This will take you to a file of essentially a mini textbook that we've created to go with the app. It provides detailed and self-contained explanations of the ideas that form each of the ideas behind or the underpinnings of each of the valuation models. In fact, if nothing else, you may use to you may wish to use it as a handy general reference on corporate valuation. The one other thing we have, you will see in subsequent videos, as we go through the models in some more detail, is there is a data link associated with some of the variables, which will take you to a website where we provide industry data on the key financials, as well as some capital markets data such as the market risk premium uh, estimates over time or uh, risk-free rates and so forth. And we will update this data whenever new fiscal year numbers come in, so probably once a year is our guess. Incidentally, for now, we only offer data on U.S. companies and markets. We hope to expand uh, your choices in the future. Now, clicking about us will take you to a page that tells you who we are and our bios and what our backgrounds are. And But at the bottom, you see that there is a little link to feedback uh, or an e link to email that you might want to send us, bouquets or brickbats or suggestions, uh, things that you notice that, you know, mistakes that we may have uh, overlooked, uh, inconsistencies, please let us know. We look forward to hearing from you and our hope is that we'll be able to get back to you uh, with a response. And so you, you can do that. And again, going back to the top and going back home, the one other feature that you should be aware of is if you click on the I button on the top right hand corner, that'll take you to a companion website that we've created to go with uValue. You will see, incidentally on the top left, if you click on this icon, that'll take you to the iTunes page uh, from where you can download the app. And uh, it also has, in addition, the videos and other material on how to use the app. Of course, right now it says under construction and uh, uh, we uh, are in the process of, as with this video, just creating this material. Then we have supporting material that we provide uh, where you can also access the U-Value companion from here or there's additional data that you can look at or you can even take classes with Professor Damodaran uh, if you follow this link, you can download his lecture notes and watch webcasts and so forth. 
and feel free to get in touch if you have any questions and we hope to be able to get back to you with an answer. So getting back to the app, we are sure that you're itching to get started on working with uh, the various models. So go ahead, uh, start to explore the models and I will come back and give you more information in subsequent short video clips. Enjoy.